What's going on, Mixed Nights? I am Nathan Mixie, your fitness coach, and today we are going to do a full body exercise, all right? Full body hit training. And we're going to use that pop squat that I showed you Monday. So if you're not familiar with that, make sure you check one of these cards and check out that video. But anyway, I want you to subscribe to my channel, turn on your push notifications, and also hit the like button. I don't have my glasses on today, so my sun is like burning my eyeballs, but that's perfectly fine. We're going to go through a series of different exercises. Each exercise is going to last around 20 seconds, give you 10 seconds to rest in between. So I want you to do as many reps as possible, okay? Now, let's get ready to work out. I hope you have your water. I hope you have a mat. If you need that, uh, make sure no one's around you. Let's go. All right, the run in place. About to start in about five, three seconds, actually. All right, pretty straightforward. We do the run in place all the time. Move those arms, move those legs. The faster you move those legs, the faster you move those arms. And one quick pro tip, the faster you move those legs, the slimmer those calves will get too. Three seconds left. Take a break. Next workout is gonna be the walkouts. The walkouts is great for your core, your back, shoulders, all that good stuff. All right, so we're starting off with the walkouts. You're gonna have your feet a little bit more than hip width apart. You're gonna walk your shoulders and walk your hands out until your body is into a parallel position. All right, suck that belly button in and squeeze the glutes when you get into that plank. Five seconds left. And break. The next workout is gonna be the jumping jack. It's a great cardiovascular exercise right here. All right, so with the jumping jack, you're gonna swing your arms, keeping them as straight as possible. The longer or straighter you keep your arms, the more muscle you're gonna work. This is gonna be great for your shoulders, your back, your hips, your IT band, and just your cardiovascular endurance. Two, one, and break. Butt kicks. Butt kicks is great for the hammies, the hamstrings, the back of your legs. You're gonna start in two seconds. All right, now with the butt kicks, I want you to bring your heel right under your hip, okay? That's the key here. Engage in the core, keep your arms relatively still, and go as fast as you can. The higher you can get that heel to your butt, the better you're gonna work those hamstrings. Three seconds left. All right, arm circles. I'm going old school right here, all right? It's some military stuff right here. So this is gonna be great for your shoulders and also your back and a little bit of your chest too. All right, so you start off slow, and then when you start getting yourself into the rhythm, speed those arms up. This is gonna be great for your shoulders, getting them all nice and lubricated. Engage the core the whole entire time, and bend at your legs, okay? We wanna keep those quads engaged too as well. Two, one, and break. All right, good job. Make sure you uh, drink some water, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. You know, get ready for the next exercise. We're gonna be going through the pop squat. We learned this on Monday. Like I said, if you're not familiar with that, make sure you click one of the cards and let's get started. All right, so with the pop squat, this is gonna be great for your glutes. So you're gonna hop your feet into their close together and then you'll spring them right back into that double shoulder width apart. Keep your legs about parallel to the ground. Touching the floor with opposite end hands each time. Break. Sprawls, okay? Back to wrestling season. All right, someone's trying to shoot in your legs. You want to sprawl out. All right, two seconds. Let's go. All right, so this is like a half burpee or a sprawl, however you want to call it. But anyway, you're gonna bring, your, you're gonna kick your legs back out as far as possible, going into a plank position. When you come back up, you're gonna bring your hands up as if you're trying to get into a ready position. Break. Skaters. I love skaters because they work the IT band so well. Also your agility. It's a great start. All right, so with the skaters, you're gonna just jump from, you're gonna hop from one side to the next, using your arms to kind of pull yourself along the way. Engage the core and try to balance yourself on that one leg. When you start to lean towards the other side, jump towards the other side. And it'll start coming naturally. All right, in and outs are gonna be next. In and out push-ups, actually, okay? So we're gonna get a little combo here. 
All right, so when in and out push-ups, when you go your when you bring your legs into your body, you know you're engaging the core. Keep your butt down as low as possible. Shoulders gonna be over your wrist, and then you're gonna go to a push-up. Okay, keep your arms relatively close to your body. That way you can work that those triceps too at the same time. I trifecta, right? All right, tuck jumps. Tuck jumps is really good for your cardiovascular, also too for your abs. This is a very taxing exercise. If you need to take a double step like I am, go for it. If you want to keep on jumping into it, you can do that too as well. The feet are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to bring your knees up until you tap your hands. If you can't do that, just, you know, bring one leg up at a time. You don't have to do the jump. All right, rewinding this workout. We're going back into the pop squat. Pop squat is an excellent exercise for your glutes. All right, make sure you keep your chest up as high as possible. If you do this with multiple people, it looks like you guys are doing a dance. Just get, you should try it out. It looks pretty cool. Five seconds left. All right, we're going back into the sprawls next. Sprawls are good for your core, also your cardiovascular too as well. This is gonna be really taxing on the chest too. The key here is to go as fast as possible. Okay, so as soon as you get into that ready position, sprawl out, putting yourself into a nice straight plank position and kicking your legs right back in. Your abs will pull your legs in along with your quads. Take a break. Back into the skaters. Now with the skaters, you wanna make sure you lift up on your, your legs a little bit, okay? You don't wanna have them hanging down too low because you wanna trip over yourself. Use your arms to help balance your body out. That's the key here. Keep your chin down and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Three seconds left. In and out push-ups. And let's go. All right, so remember, your feet about shoulder width apart. Bring them in as close to your chest as possible, keeping your butt down as low as possible at the same time. Push yourself, keep your elbows as close to your body to engage those triceps and also that chest. All right, head should be in a neutral position. Break. All right, tuck jumps. We're back at it in about five seconds. And break, let's go. Um, so tuck jumps, feet shoulder width apart. Bring your knees up as close to your body as possible when you go into that jump. Trying to slam on your ground, so you're jumping right on your toes, not on the heels, all right? About three seconds left. And break. All right, so this is your chance to get you some water, beat the heat, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Okay, we have up next a pop squat. It's coming back to haunt us. About five seconds. So the pop squat is not only a great glute exercise, it's a great quad exercise too as well. Because you're constantly keeping your quads almost engaged the whole entire time because you're barely giving it a chance to rest. The key here is to go really fast. The faster you go, the better it's gonna be. Take a break. Mountain climbers, okay, we're crossing the legs over, okay, so this is our like an X mountain climber, all right, so get ready to start. All right, so with the X mountain climber, you're gonna bring the opposite end knee to the opposite end of the elbow. Don't hit yourself in the elbow with your knee though, okay, but you wanna bring your knees as close to your chest as possible. This is gonna work all of your core, including your oblique muscles too, as well. Suck in that belly button though, break. Burpees, all right, there's no, there's no jumping involved with these particular burpees. You may notice that we are doing leg heavy workouts. So your legs are burning a little bit and that's perfectly fine because this is what we're supposed to do. This is gonna be a great workout for your whole entire glutes, okay? Feet gonna be a little bit more than hip width apart. Come up to a straight position. Make sure you arch that back to work that lower back. Take a break. 
All right, the four count shoulder tap. This is a 90% mental, 10% physical game, but I think you got this. Let's get ready to start. All right, so all you're doing is holding yourself into a plank position with the shoulders over your wrist. You're gonna tap each shoulder with each with the, uh, each hand, and then you're gonna bring your hands out, okay? So get yourself in a rhythm. The faster you can go, the better it's gonna be for you. About three seconds left. Take that break. Crab and toe touch. It's gonna mess with your flexibility a little bit. Now with the crab and toe touch, you're gonna get in a crab position, keep your butt as high off the ground as possible. You're gonna reach um, for your foot with the opposite end hand to the opposite end foot. All right, the straighter you can keep that leg, the better. Engage in the core the whole entire time. Make sure you get that hand to your foot. Take that break, we're starting over with a pop squat. A lot of pop squats here. And let's get ready to start. All right, so we're back into the pop squat. This is the last time you're gonna see this in this particular video, unless you hit that replay button, which you are, because you gotta do this twice. <laughs> About 10 seconds left. Make sure you bring your chest up as high as possible when you come into that start position. Break. X mountain climbers. Mountain climbers may be the one of the hardest exercises on this list. Really focuses on your, your mental strength. All right, we start in the mountain climber, shoulders over your wrist, nice, strong posture. And just get yourself in a nice little rhythm. The faster you can go, the better, because you're trying to keep that heart rate up. The higher that heart rate, the better we burn fat. Right. Burpees. Now, if you're not used to burpees, you can do the jump if you want to. Or if you are using burpee, you can do the jump if you want to. Okay, but this will be the easiest method right here. We're not going to any push-ups. We're not going into the jumps. We're not doing any kind of technical difficulties. We're just getting up and getting down. Shoulders over your wrist, nice strong plank position there. Break. Four count shoulder tap. So with the four count shoulder tap, we're getting ready to start in like two seconds. All right. Now, if you put your feet closer together, this will make the workout a little bit harder. So spreading your feet out will make the workout easier. Grab each shoulder, bring your hand up as high as possible on those shoulders. And um, this will help work the back, also your core, of course, your glutes. Take that break, we have the crab toe touch. This is the last workout, guys, so hang in there. And let's start. Crank him out, because this is the last time you go see this today. Go ahead and crab that toe. There you go. Keep it up. Less than 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Keep pulling. And break. Anyway, that concludes this workout, guys. Full body hit. Very intense, okay? So you're gonna build your cardio up, build your boost up, build your strength up, okay? Drink water. I'm thirsty, I'm gonna go dry. Make sure you watch your surrounding before it's kind of slippery. I don't know what you're dealing with, but deal with it, all right? So, with that being said, stay healthy out there. Um, subscribe to the channel, turn on your push notifications, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.